Welcome taste buddies to Iceland. Get warm because we're going to take you through the frozen magical journey of Iceland and bring out some exotic hidden gems and cultural cuisine from this fascinating volcanic giant. On the first day, we dived into the heart of Icelandic cuisine, the lamb stew. It's like a warm hug on a cold day. It's hearty, it's flavorful, and it's soul warming, a true taste of Icelandic comfort food. From our drive back from Thingvilla National Park, we stopped at Mufkurbu Fiamana. This was a dairy farm back in 1929, but since 2006, this is now a food court in the same building. Mufkur Bufi Amana offers a wide variety of options, from traditional Icelandic cuisine to international flavors. Now, whether you're craving for a hearty lamb stew, fresh seafood, or exotic street food, there is something here for everyone. There was this Italian place where we ordered some pasta for the kids and it was good, very good. And there was this sandwich place where we ordered some comfort food. There was this Asian wok place with, which uh, had all the noodles, uh, Thai noodles with Thai curry um, of some fried shrimp and rice. It was good um, on a cold day. Uh, but the best of all, I would think, was uh, the lamb kebabs. It was great. It was amazing. Next up, we are taking you on a culinary journey to a restaurant located in the heart of a small and quaint town called as Wick. It's on the south side of the Iceland and it is very quaint. Uh, the, this, this building itself is quaint and it's pretty building. As you step inside the restaurant, you are greeted with the cozy interiors. It's perfect setting for a memorable dining experience. The restaurant seating area is quite cozy, located on the second floor. Uh, when we showed up right at the sunset, the waiting room was completely full. So I would strongly recommend reservations. I would like to mention here, I love this Vital beer called as Brio. I mean, I could not find this in States uh, and there were a few, few places in the town where I could get this beer, but it is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. We ordered some local char that comes with uh, house salad, um, some house bread. It was good, it was, uh, it was some, something new for me and then we also ordered a wild game platter, which was like smoked, smoked caribou, uh, cured goose, served with some walnuts, breads, um, you know, honey mustard, horseradish cream, and blueberry sauce. The kids uh, filled themselves with lots and lots of pizza, and we also ordered some uh, chicken breast that comes with potatoes, side of potatoes, and salad. It was good. The food was well priced. Um, you know, and the restaurant ambience was very lovely. It was packed to the capacity um, and it was a lovely evening. I pampered myself with some Icelandic lamb chops seasoned with local herbs and grilled to juicy perfection. It was a celebration of rich, natural flavors of Icelandic lamb. Now these lamb chops are perfectly seared, crispy on the outside and tender on the inside.
Next day, we made our way to the famous plain red beach where the famous Shah Rukh Khan star Dilwale song Gerua was shot. Anu thoroughly enjoyed it and she made full use of this location to be the Kajo of the song. Of course, yours truly was Shah Rukh Khan. On our last night in Wick, we stumbled upon dual jewels called as Walk in Wick and Stronden Pub. Now these restaurants are located next door to one another and they are nice cozy small place with a menu focusing on stir fry style dishes of either rice or noodle base. So we ordered some, uh, some noodles, some fried rice, Thai fried rice and the Stronden Pub um, they are a pub, like an English pub. They serve like buffalo wings, chicken wings. I ordered some fish and chips, uh, some comfort food. It was so cold and I really enjoyed it. You know, white fish um, fried in a batter with french fries. On the other hand, the Stronden pub is a local pub nestled in this picturesque town of Wick. It's a great spot for food and drinks. It was filled to capacity. So we had to actually order the food in Stronden and they allowed us to sit in a walk-in wick and we ate our food there. So it's, it's amazing. Now don't get me wrong, after four days of Icelandic food, the folks were now getting restless and craving for desi action. After a lot of research, I found a local restaurant in, in Reykjavik called as Gandhi. Now Gandhi has a good rating and is perfectly located in the heart of Reykjavik. Now I was looking to explore the flavor and spices of India served with Icelandic hospitality. The restaurant has a warm ambience and cozy decor. And look, it has a Royal Enfield park inside. So I was pretty, I was pretty amazed with that, you know, felt very happy. Another day, another beer. Cheers. The first thing to come out was papadam. Now the kids were extremely famished and the people just pounced on it. Now we ordered some um, Ajwaini machi, bhatti da murg, and some paneer kebabs uh, in the starter. And it was good. So, uh, the paneer kebabs were, were great. Uh, the ajwaini fish was good as well. And the bhatti da murg, which was uh, tandoori chicken, that was awesome. In the main course, we ordered some dal tadka, dhabi wala murg, and mutton handi biryani, palak paneer. Um, overall, I would say the appetizers were better than the main course. The only item that I would say made any sense and was a little bit delectable was the dal tadka. Uh, but palak paneer was a really let down and so was uh, dhabi wala murg. Uh, the mutton handi biryani 
was was okay it was not great because i am a great biryani fan but i didn't like it um but all in all the appetizers were awesome but the main course was a real letdown but anyways it was end of the day we were hungry and it was table full of food so everyone enjoyed every morsel of it so the time had come to wave goodbye to iceland and on our way back to the states we couldn't stop ourselves from tasting more and more food and more beer cheers to that this time from the airport restaurants and it was an amazing journey but to end it i would say an amazing and memorable journey all i can say is this that we gathered the bundle of memories and came home we paved our way with the soil of bygone moments well that's all from taste buds by anubhi and we will be back with another episode on taste buds by anubhi till then goodbye